Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and on today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a 15.6 inch monitor from a company called InnoView. Now they reached out to me to send me over this product so I can show you guys what it's all about. Now the great thing about this product, just in my testing, it allows you to use a USB-C connection or a HDMI connection and be able to use this as an auxiliary monitor for your gaming console or your smart device. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys everything you need to know, and I wanna thank InnoView for sending this over for me to check out. With that being said, let's get right into it. Here we have the Enno 15.6 inch portable monitor and it's great for using it for gaming consoles as well as smart devices. In the box, you're gonna get a power brick, some USB-C cables, an HDMI cable, and a micro cleaning cloth. On the top of it, you're gonna find a thin bezel that tapers over to the side. And on the bottom of it, you're gonna find the Enno View logo. And one of the great things about this particular monitor is that it can become a USB-C hub. So you can take your power supply, plug it into this, and then out and power up a laptop or a cell phone, which is pretty cool. On one side of it, you're gonna find a power supply, a menu button, a USB-C connection, and your headphone output. And on the other side, there's two additional USB-Cs as well as a mini HDMI input, which comes with the unit if you wanna hook it up to your gaming console or laptop. One thing you'll really like about it is that it's very thin and very lightweight, and on the back of it, there's a kickstand that can swivel up to 180 degrees. And with a few minor tweaks in your video card settings, and this allows you to use it like a document reader or a editing monitor whenever you're using any type of shorts or TikTok videos. I did hook it up to my PS5 and it was able to do 60 hertz with no problem. Also, I was able to set up the HDR and when playing games, the black levels were really dark and the colors popped when you're sitting directly in front of it in a darker environment. And just so you guys know, this monitor does have built-in speakers, but it's not that impressive. Here, take a listen. So in my opinion, you'd be better off using headphones instead of the speakers built in, but if you're in a crunch, at least you have some type of audio. Now what I'm gonna do is show you guys a couple of picture demos so you can see what it looks like. And after doing that picture test, I checked out the blooming and it did a pretty good job not having too much blooming. I checked the viewing angles as you can see right here with my cell phone. In addition, I checked the contrast ratio and the black levels are good. However, whenever you get to the white levels, the grayscale is not as good as I like to see. But since it's portable, it's not really a deal breaker for me. Now it does have a nice menu system when you press this button on the side. You get a lot of different presets. You can change the brightness, the contrast. You also have color settings. You have your audio settings. Again, the audio is not that great, but the headphones sounds good. Then you have FreeSync. So if you do have a Windows-based computer that has uh, the AMD FreeSync video card, it will support that as well. Like I showed you guys earlier, it does support HDR. And then over here, you have your input sources. So you have two USB-Cs, you have an HDMI, and you have Lightning, so you can connect an iPhone to it directly. Another feature that you'll really like if you have a Samsung device that supports DeX, you can plug in a USB-C to USB-C cable, and then you can have your own screen menu. Now you can use this phone, but if you don't, it comes with this dongle that allows you to plug in the wireless adapter. And then when you plug it in into the side, you can then use your keyboard and mouse, as you can see right here. Pretty cool. Now the Samsung worked fine, but I did have a problem connecting the iPhone, including this new iPhone 13. Now what they say in the instruction is that you can take this Thunderbolt 2 USB-C, connect it to the side, and it would detect your phone for on-screen graphics. Now I have the cable plugged in. I should get some type of warning on the phone. Now it is charging, but there's no indicator to let me know to open up the screen. And I'll try it on another phone, same thing. It's charging the phone, but there's no pop-up on the screen. Maybe it's another way to do it, but I'm not getting it to work for me. And the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is if you wanna hook it up to your gaming console, it comes with the micro to full-size HDMI cable. Once you plug it in, it does a little flicker and it will automatically detect whatever you have plugged into the HDMI as you can see right there. So this is the PS5 with a test disc while I was using. 
The last thing I want to do is check out the input lag. And if you can see right here, I'm getting 8.4 millisecond, which is very respectful for a portable monitor that you can take anywhere you want on the go. Before I get my final conclusions, let's just go over the things that needs improvement. First of all, the controls on the side to get to the menus, you gotta press it in, you toggle. I had some problems turning the volume down and controlling the menu, so that needs to be addressed. The second thing is the audio system. If you look on their advertising, it shows these nice audio speakers. It doesn't sound that great, but if you hook those headphones up, you're in good. The third gripe I would have is that I couldn't get my iPhone to connect. Not saying I would ever do that, but let's say for example, it doesn't have Wi-Fi and I want to use my phone to, you know, display it on a bigger screen while I'm traveling. I couldn't do that. Now maybe there's something I'm missing, but I've tried USB cables, I tried dongles, I just couldn't get it to work. So with that being said, let's talk about the good stuff. Well, first of all, whenever you have this in the right angle, the colors are amazing. I was very impressed with how good it looks. The HDR, so-so, it's got about a nits of 250, I think, so it's not gonna be that bright. But whenever you connect to your computer, doing documents, playing games, it looks great. Now, who is it for? Now, for me personally, I'm gonna be doing some traveling for 2022, and this is gonna be great because I can take my MacBook Pro and be able to do video edits in my room and have two monitors because when you edit, you gotta have more than one monitor, one for your files, one for the edit. This is also gonna be great for anyone who has a gaming console who moves around a lot. If you wanna play your PlayStation, just plug it in, plug in headphones, you're good to go, or that traveler. So if you're the type of person who travels for your business, it's gonna be a great add-on for you. But if you guys wanna learn more, I'll leave all those links in the description below. And right now, the prices do vary. It sells for around $200, which is pretty inexpensive to have something that works so well. I'm Tech Steve. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace! Tech Steve.